Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this yummy lentil and feta cheese salad. So let's get to cooking. Start with some lentils and cook them as the package directs. So basically boil two cups of water per every cup of lentils. I have three cups of water, so I'm gonna do one and a half cups of lentils. Next, I'm gonna chop up half of an onion. Now I've got a large bell pepper and I'm gonna use about half of this, chop it up finely as well. Now the color doesn't matter. I'm cho I chose a yellow one only because it looks pretty. All right, so I lied. I actually chopped up the whole bell pepper. It's okay, chop up whatever you like. And here I have some mini cucumbers. These are seedless. You can use whatever cucumbers you want to use. I'm gonna go ahead and chop them into small chunks. In case you're wondering, I ended up chopping up just two of them, and I feel that's good enough. I almost wanna go with three, but we're gonna go ahead and go with just the two. Now here I have some slivered almonds. If you don't care for them, you can leave them out. Maybe some walnuts would also be nice. Now, if you don't find slivered almonds, you can certainly use the thin sliced almonds instead of this. And this is about a two ounces, and how much of that you put in your salad depends on how much crunch you want. Here I have a large Roma tomato. Of course, you can use any tomato. Some cherry tomatoes would be nice. Just cut up in half. I'm gonna chop this up and leave out the center seed part. Of course, it's completely optional. You don't have to use any tomato. My tomato is chopped, and this is what I meant by leaving out the center seed part. Of course, you don't have to do that. I'm leaving it out because I don't want my salad to be like mushy, and I think this part will make it seem kind of mushy, so I'm just using the nice little firm bits of the tomato. And here I have a couple of small green onions. I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up to, to about right here. I want some of that green and then the flavor of this onion in my salad. Of course, you don't have to add that. That is completely optional. Another item you could add in there is some parsley. I also have this beautiful avocado. It is nice and ripe. It is a nice big avocado. Now, you can just use half of this or use the whole thing. I think I'm gonna use the whole thing and I'm gonna chop it up, but I'm gonna wait till I am already preparing my salad because I don't want my avocado to brown. So, you'll see that chopped when we're putting it all together. And here I have some crumbled feta cheese. Of course, it's already crumbled. You could crumble your own. Uh, I love feta cheese. If you don't like it, you could possibly leave it out and your salad might still be good. And I say that because I really think you need this. Now, if you prefer to add maybe a blue cheese, that's completely up to you. Now, I'm gonna use maybe two, three ounces of this uh, crumbled feta cheese. Again, this will go in at the very end, so I'm not gonna pop this open yet. And besides, they're already crumbled. All right, so my lentils are done and I have rinsed them with cold water. Now the packaging said to place them in the boiling water for about 30 minutes and I had that on a low heat. So here they are and they are nice and firm. I've already tasted them, nice and nutty. They pop in your mouth, they're perfect. Now I said I rinsed them off in the cold water and one thing I didn't do is I didn't add any salt in my boiling water. I just completely forgot. So I did sprinkle some salt on this and then I just tossed it around with a spatula because I don't want to mush them up. So we're gonna be using the spatula for the rest of our recipe. All right, so now we're gonna make a dressing for our salad and we're gonna use the juice of one whole lemon. So I have a nice yellow lemon that I've already rinsed. I just need to dry it up really well because I'm going to zest half of this lemon first. So first, zest it, put it in the bowl, we'll cut it up, squeeze out all the juice, make sure no seeds fall in there, and then we'll go to the next ingredient. All right, so to our lemon juice and our zest, we're going to add about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I've added a pinch of salt, a bit of some black pepper, freshly cracked. Use whatever you have. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of some cumin powder. That's up to you if you want to add that. And then of course, a sprinkling of some cayenne pepper. That's it, just to taste. And then you'll want to whisk all that up. I have now transferred my lentils into a nice bowl so they look really pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these ingredients. And now we're gonna go ahead and fold them in gently. All right, and now here is my chopped avocado, which I'm also going to gently fold in. 
And now the slivered onions, which is about an ounce that I added in there, and about three ounces of the crumbled feta cheese. And let's not forget about our little green onions. I'm gonna give the dressing one more whisk, and we'll go ahead and add it into our salad. And of course, you want to gently fold that. And if you feel like you need more dressing, which I'm almost feeling like I do, you can go, to, go ahead and make some more of that. And this is done. All right, so let's give our salad a taste. So let's make sure we have some of those lentils, a little bit of everything in our spoon here. Mmm, crunchy. Delicious. I love the red onions and the little almonds in there. Nice little touch. The lemon gives it that nice, fresh bite. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, you guys. This is delicious. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, and I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up. And leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of my salad. Of course, it's not my original recipe, but, you know, kind of perked it up the way that I like it. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. And then after you'll wanna hit that little notification bell so that you get notified of my videos as soon as I upload them. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And as always, enjoy.